hello everyone welcome to our soft system youtube channel today we are going to introduce our one more new product called tv cast stream link hdmi decoder this is our, our own product uh, we are going to explain how the product is going to work so i will show you a demo please uh, watch my video now we are going to connect this decoder to my tv so first i take my lan cable from my router then i am taking that hdmi cable for my tv then i am giving the power for the device so once is connected so it's rebooting you can see it here i will change the source so it's booting now so and uh, what you see in the second monitor that is the encoding software called go live so we are selling the software for uh, live video mixing and uh, video production software so what we will do now we are going to show how this video coming through the router that means the local network coming to my decoder and display the signal on the tv so what i am going to do so simply go here and this is our streaming so here i just put my uh, the local ip that means this decoder and my computer both are connected normal router so both are in the same network and this go live software have two profile one for you can streaming to youtube as a normally what you going to stream and second is a custom rtmp link that custom rtmp link my decoder is giving through the local ip so i just simply put that my local ip address then my stream key so simply apply so what i'm going to do i start my streaming so once it started my streaming getting started then i get the video signal from my streaming encoder software to my decoder via hdmi connecting to tv so here the concept is this decoder will be in your tv studio or any cable local channel they can keep the decoder to their local studio and they can use the internet so this system the remote encoder could be any remote location could be your vmix software could be your obs software or our go live streaming software using laptop desktop whatever encoding software even the bonding encoder even the hardware encoder any type of software or hardware encoder you can easily connect using the ip so once you start the streaming the decoder will decode the signal coming from my rtmp link then that rtmp link converted to hdmi output that hdmi output i give it to tv so this is a concept so i'm just uh, sh uh, creating one small production so what i'm doing just i'm just click that transition i just simply change the source so that source will also change here so i'm simply changing another source then it's changing here so, so what are the production i am doing on remote side so all the effects all the programs have animated graphics everything will be displayed on my decoder so now the concept we are looking only the local network consider this could be any other remote location how public internet or static ip uh, what we, what we have so from the internet how we are pushing the signal to the my decoder outside of the network so i am going to give the demo how to use the outside of the network please watch it okay now if you see in the second monitor so the ip address here using vodafone so this router has internet sim card vodafone so this is a wan ip address what i am getting in vodafone so i i was said how you have, you can connect our system through the outside of the network and get the signal to the decoder so in this case if you go into remote location so you need a good internet speed so that's why we are introducing a uh, soft system 
fine net bonding router that is also our uh, product and uh, i was uh, succeed more than 30 router uh, from my client they are all ip using my product and this product we launched uh, uh, previously 6 month ago and is a good result so why this router i designed for you if you go to remote location you need a good upload speed so that's why we are going to use the bonding router so i will show the demo how the bonding is connected also how you can use the outside rpm building like that that's a custom domain to bring the uh, live production signal to our decoder okay so please i will show the demo okay see now what we see in the second monitor this is different van ip address that means my bonding router so i have connected one phone and the second phone both are going to my bonding router i am taking the lan cable to my system so it give the internet sharing to my system so this is the interface of my bonding router so i will show the interface okay this is the interface of my bonding router so if you see here i have connected two internet that means usb 0 usb 1 that means one phone connected to usb port second phone also connected to the usb port so both are merging together to get the combined internet so this is our server so both internet available for getting the good upload speed to push our good streaming and if you see here the van ip address is entirely different so the previous speed test vodafone so that is our local internet now we are connected our bonding router to any remote location where we are going to streaming now that time you need the bonding router to have good speed that is a different uh, van ip address is different internet now i am using the different internet system push my streaming to my local hdmi decoder that means i am sitting in my cable channel tv channel so my uh, streamer going to the outside location so they are sending the signal from the outside location to my local tv channel let's see how it's working so what we are going to do we are using the different internet and the same software and we are just go here and then go to stream if you see here this is a custom rtmp link that custom rtmp link giving by our tv cache decoder so this is a common name common domain name over the any world or any public internet this is a common domain name we just put in the common domain name that domain name given by our hdmi decoder either you can use uh, static ip address or either you can use your public ip address or if you have separate static ip address we can do port forwarding simply we do port forwarding then you give the domain name to that encoder any part of the world you can connect to a decoder so i will show how this video coming to the decoder if you if you note here this link is separate previously we give ip address now we are not giving ip address we giving the common name so let's see here how we are getting this signal over this decoder i simply start my streaming so my streaming started okay i supposed to get the signal here yeah i got the signal here the clear concept the bonding router that's my bonding router my bonding server if you see the two internet sharing the data that means i am running my data pushing the signal through the rtmp link using the bonded connection if i go here in digital version is my server i can test my speed also so you can test the speed so how much the download speed and upload speed so we are getting almost uh, 15 and uh, download speed we can get based on the uh, network coverage also the upload speed also we are getting uh, based on the network coverage we need at least minimum 4 mbps upload to have a uh, hd uh, streaming quality so we have at least 2 8 whatever speed you are getting that will be fine so based on the network uh, because i'm connected only two network if i add one more also i can get good speed but here i'm getting uh, 2 mb because i connected my server in singapore so if it's connected in india you are getting more upload speed so that's why my bonding motor will do automatic calculation so what we are doing here the video i'm getting here 
I've just do some mixing. So I just take uh, the transition here. So simply I do the transition. Then I'm changing the source. So I change the source. The source supposed to be changes also here. So this could be your remote location. This could be your local channel. There will be delay like two, three, four seconds, but that will not matter because these people sitting in any part of the world. We are sitting in our TV channel studio. So what are the signal we are sending easily to our decoder? So just transit so that effect will take like two, three, five seconds. You see here, there is a difference will be here. <coughs> and this software is very easy to use for you all over encoding part, decoding part, everything. So at least four to five seconds, we are getting the video. So this is the concept of a decoder. So most of the decoder, uh, what is doing is just take that uh, RTMP link and uh, take out that uh, video. But our decoder is different from the other decoder because our decoder giving the RTMP link that you can put it in the your, uh, encoder. So this is the difference from the general marketing encoder and decoder. This is a different part from the our product is a decoder because decoder is never giving RTMP link only pulled RP, RTM link but our decoder giving the RTM link that you can put it here so I can simply pull anywhere in the part of the well to my decoder I get a signal okay so now I will show you how you take the mobile from any part of the world like news gathering or news reporter sending the signal over the internet to my decoder please watch my video I will show that demo also okay now what we are going to see how I will send that my mobile camera to my decoder to see the video okay so i will start publishing so okay now did you see what the mobile camera is seeing i can see it on the tv okay so this is my shop so i am showing my shop okay so then we have a system we have our uh, software and this, so the concept here mobile camera also using any RTMP encoder software you can send the signal from my mobile to the decoder you can see the video so if you have any doubt on about this product okay or uh, if you have any pricing details uh, how our decoder is working we are happy to support you please contact us we will give full support with the training and we will do the remotely installation support of the decoder okay so i hope you understand the video and i hope you like the demo video so please uh, contact we are happy to support you thank you very much bye bye